All right, back for another beer review, and today is Wednesday, which of course means it's time for another Western New York Wednesday here on the channel. And the beer I'm reviewing today comes from Middle Ages Brewing, and they are out of Syracuse, New York. And this is their Strawberry Milkshake IPA. So this is an IPA that is brewed with over 1,000 pounds of strawberries and some lactose. Then they dry hop this with Citra and Mosaic Hops, comes in at 7.4% alcohol by volume. No IBUs listed in the time of review. This can is just under three weeks old. So, Middle Ages, they're from Syracuse, and Syracuse is not technically a part of the Western New York area, but as I mentioned before on uh, previous Western New York Wednesdays, it's either I review a beer from a Western New York brewery or from a New York brewery that gets distribution into the Western New York area. Middle Ages does get distribution, and they have for a very long time. Now, when I first got into uh, craft beer about 10 years ago, this was one of the uh, breweries that I actually seeked out some of their stuff. One of my favorite beers from them is their Dragon Slayer, which is a Russian Imperial Stout. But over the past two or three years, a lot of their distro in the area dried up until about, I don't know, six months ago. Uh, they started doing like special batches of new, their New England style IPA. And, you know, they would basically number the batch. I think they're on like 33 or 34 now. And then I saw their pineapple milkshake IPA show up about a month ago. And then this one just recently. So I was like, you know what? Time to finally grab one of their newer beers and give them, uh, give them a go. And uh, this one caught my eye because it's a strawberry milkshake IPA. It sounds pretty damn delicious and I want to get into it. So yeah, like I said, over 1,000 pounds of strawberries, some lactose, citra, mosaic. Should be pretty good. I already rolled this one, so I think we should be fine. Let's give it a pour and see what we got going on. So for them using as many strawberries as they say they do, this does not, does not have the color I would anticipate. But I always say that for most strawberry beers, but... I feel like strawberry juice isn't the pure on like pink or red that we all think it is. But anyway, that pours out honestly like a straight up New England style IPA. It has this nice, really soft orange color. It looks kind of milky and just, you know, just very soft looking. Um, at the at the bottom here, it's, it's almost like yellow. Had about a finger and a half to, well, not has about a finger, but it had a finger and a half of a creamy uh, bright white head. Very compact and tight bubbles. Yeah, it looks very creamy. Looks nice. Looks like something that I would call New Cell IPA or a milkshake IPA. Let's get in those. Ah, not picking up on a ton of strawberries, but definitely lactose. There's a vanilla here. But then I'm getting like soft stone and tropical fruit. Yeah, definitely peach and apricot. There's a little bit of underlying citrus, like a ruby red grapefruit, some orange zest. Doesn't smell overly sweet. That was my concern. Based on the nose, it doesn't have a huge sweetness to it. Uh, the biggest sweetness is coming pretty much from the lactose. This has been on my fridge for over half an hour, so we're at an appropriate temperature where I should be able to pull something pretty decent from the nose. But that's all I'm pretty much getting. Some stone fruit, a little bit of zesty citrus, uh, you know, pretty much the vanilla, and that's it. Uh, I wish there was more strawberry in here. They're using over a thousand pounds. I don't know how big the batch was, but that seems like quite a bit. Anyway, let's get into it. Cheers, everyone. Hmm. Now, this was kept cold the entire time. The place I bought it from was in a um, walk-in cooler. And what I'm drinking right now was pretty much, like I said, out of my fridge at about, you know, it's been about a half an hour, let's say somewhere around there. To be honest with you, I'm just personally not really digging this one, which is uh, somewhat of a disappointment. So the first thing that I noticed on my palate is there's this ever so slight medicinal quality to it, almost like a bittering aspirin component to it. like. Hmm, it's kind of weird. And so right up from getting that little, little like medicinal quality. It passes through the palate though, some of those stone fruits, a little bit of tropical fruit, some of that citrus zest pops in, more like a peach apricot into a zesty, a zesty orange, a little bit of that ruby red sweeter grapefruit. As it finishes, finishes semi-dry. And um, the vanilla is pretty much omnipresent throughout the entire palette, but it's way less, way less um, intense than, than the aroma was was indicating that would be in the uh, actual taste. The body on this one and the mouthfeel are actually pretty nice. Straight up medium, slightly higher side of medium body at 7.4%, uh, great. The mouthfeel, soft, smooth, 
somewhat creamy from that lactose. It definitely gives you uh, milkshake vibes to the uh, mouthfeel. It just, you can tell there's lactose in here based on that. But I, I, you know what? My palate could be broken. Um, even though it's not, this is only the second beer I'm reviewing today, period. And you know, I've cleansed my palate and everything. It's just, I'm not getting a lot of strawberry out of this one. A little bit of medicinal quality up front. I was hoping that this would have a pretty substantial strawberry quality to it. But here's the thing, this is something that I've noticed personally, you know, since drinking craft beer, any beers that have strawberry character, it's tough to get true strawberry character using even a thousand pounds of strawberries. It's one of the few berries uh, that I can honestly say for myself, I don't really, I'm usually disappointed by in most beers. In fact, I'd say more often than not, the strawberry characters I get in beers that I do like is pretty much the synthetic, like natural strawberry flavoring or even artificial flavoring. I feel like more often than not, that produces a strawberry character, albeit like a candied strawberry, it still gives you something. In here, I'm not picking up a ton of strawberry and they're using a lot of it based on what they say. And yeah, it's just not there. I'm gonna take back though, what I said after that, those first couple sips actually. Um, I was like, I'm not really digging this one. It's not, I'm not feeling it or whatever. As I drink on this more, I'm actually enjoying this now. And that's the uh, kind of the issue sometimes with reviewing beers. Uh, some reviewers will come back after they sit down with it and drink the rest of it and you know gather their thoughts. And I thought about doing that at some point, but I don't know, it just seems like I'd rather just sit down and give you my like visceral quick reaction, right? But for me, this is starting to taste more like an orange creamsicle or like a citrus creamsicle beer or citrus milkshake beer. That medicinal quality with each sip it's pretty much gone now. It must've been something that just needed to acclimate. Uh, well, it's something that I wasn't acclimating to my palate as quickly as I thought. Uh, first two or three sips were like, oh my God, this, this is very medicinal. After about the fifth sip or so, or the last sip, it's pretty much gone. As you can see, I'm drinking this quite easily now. Uh, so yeah, I take back that this isn't, I don't, I'm not digging this or not, it's not really for me. I do enjoy this one actually right now, but I will say really not picking up on the strawberry. Not a lot of complexity to this one. So rating on the Strawberry Milkshake IP from Middle Ages, the best I can personally do on this one based on what I'm drinking here. I think it's a solid, good beer, uh, but it's not pretty much as advertised. But as far as what's in my glass, I'm gonna give it a 3.5 out of five. It's solid. If you wanna try this out and you're in the Western New York area, you should see this on the shelves, I'd imagine. I'd give it a go. Maybe you'll pick up more strawberry than I will, or that I did. And uh, I will say it is a solid beer. I do like it. I do get the milkshake part of it. I just wish I got more strawberry and I just wish it was more complex and just kind of impactful and resonated with me more. It doesn't, but that's why we review beer. So middle ages, strawberry milkshake IPA, 3.5 out of five, solid beer. Wish there was more strawberries and that's all I got for you. So appreciate everybody stopping by for you another Western New York Wednesday. Check back on next Wednesday for another installment. And until then, cheers.